Lower the flaps to 8 degrees and adjust thrust to maintain 180 knots. You have the airplane. Continue flying heading 120 and maintain 7,000 feet. I'll handle the radios. You fly the approach. The airport's about 25 miles ahead of us. The approach controller will probably vector us out to the south, then give us a left turn to line up with the runway. Will travel 268, contact Juliana approach on 128.905. Going to 128.905, World Travel 268, see you next time. Juliana Approach, World Travel 268, with you, 7000. World Travel 268, Juliana Approach, expect vectors for the visual runway 9er, altimeter 29902. World Travel 268, turn right, heading 130, and maintain 3,000 vectors for the visual. Right to 130 and down to 3, World Travel 268. Okay, turn right to 130 degrees and descend to 3,000 feet. Don't exceed 250 knots. World Travel 268, reduce speed to 180 knots. Slowing to 180, World Travel 268. Okay, slow to 180 knots. off at 3,000 feet. Travel 268, turn left, heading 100, report the runway in sight. Left to 100, World Travel 268. All right, make a left turn to a heading of 100.
World Travel 268 has the runway in sight. World Travel 268, cleared visual approach, runway 9 Cleared for the visual, World Travel 268. World Travel 268, contact Juliana Tower now on 118.7. Going to tower, thanks. Juliana Tower, World Travel 268 with you on the visual. World Travel 268, Juliana Tower, wind 121 at 12, runway 9 are clear to land. Traffic is at Grumman Goose on final landing Simpson Bay south of the runway. Clear to land and we have the traffic, World Travel 268. All right, we're cleared for the visual approach. Reduce thrust to idle and begin descending towards the runway. Lower the landing gear and lower full flaps as we slow down. Adjust thrust to maintain 130 knots as our final approach speed. Before landing checklist, landing gear, down. Flaps set to 45 degrees. Before landing checklist, complete. Flight attendants, please be seated for landing. Turn left next taxiway. Orbit three twenty six heavy, wind one.